Hi guys, this is Chris at How Stuff Mike Fireworks. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to replace the ball joints on a 1998 Dodge Dakota two-wheel drive. These steps are going to be similar to the Dakotas that have the same body style. So stay tuned and learn how to do this yourself. Set the parking brake, put some blocks behind the tires, and lift up the front of the vehicle using a floor jack. Plus the jack stands under the frame so you can actually work on the ball joints. When it comes to suspension parts, you don't want to go cheap, so we decided to go with AC Delco, which you can actually get on an online store. The nice thing about AC Delco is they have a grease fitting, unlike the knockoff frames or the OEM parts. The reason why we're changing the ball joints is because they dried out because there's no grease fitting, and every time you turn the wheel, it would squeak a lot. First step is to remove the wheel. The next step is to remove your caliper pins. Once it's loosened up all the way, pull it out with your hand. Once the caliper pins are out, remove the caliper. Use a, a rope or a bailing wire to hang the caliper from. And do not let it hang from the brake hose. Yeah. Remove the outer brake pad. If your rotor is stuck with rust, spray some lubricant around it. Let it sit for a few minutes. Once let it soak for a little while, go ahead and pull the rotor out. Remove the carter pins on the upper and lower ball joints. Remove the carter pin from the outer tie rod. Loosen the outer tie rod nut with the 1316 socket and a ratchet. Separate the tie rod end from the steering knuckle using a tie rod end puller. Place a floor jack under the lower control arm and lift it just enough to where it's not setting, the upper control arm is not setting on the frame. Don't lift it too much or you'll take the weight off the jack stand. Loosen the lower ball joint nut using a 1516 socket and ratchet. Next, loosen the upper ball joint nut using a 13-16 socket and ratchet. Obviously we're replacing the ball joints, so we don't care about the rubber boot, so we're going to use a pickle fork separator to separate the ball joints from the steering knuckle. Now you see why we left the nut on, because that way, when it separates, the knuckle won't come out and hit you. Once you broke the ball joints loose from the steering knuckle, remove the nuts and separate it from the steering knuckle.
These paw joints are horrible. The rubber, we didn't really destroy it, but they were destroyed before us, and the dirt got in there, and they're just, they're out. Like, you're not supposed to go up and down and move. The bottom one still has the boot, but it's worse. I mean, this thing is all over the place. We could have killed ourselves driving this thing. Next step is to remove the sway bar end link from the lower control arm. Using a punch, place a dot in the center of each rivet. Drill a pilot hole in each rivet. Next, drill a bigger hole in all of them. The next step is to cut the head off of the rivet. Step is to drive the rivets out using a punch. Drive the other ones out the same way. Once the rivets are removed, tap on the side to make the ball jump. So we're going to cut the heads of the rivets off of the upper ball joint, but to avoid breaking the brake line, we're going to unbolt it here and move it off to the side. The upper ball joint has smaller rivets, so we're actually not going to even drill a pilot hole or any of that. We're going to just use this to cut the heads off. When driving the rivets out, make sure you place a piece of wood or something under the upper control arm because it'll continue to bounce if you don't. Once you get the heads off the rivets, use a flat chisel and separate it from the control arm. Once you remove the upper ball joint, use the air chisel to cut the rivets again. Now they'll easily come out if you use an air chisel from underneath. We're going to start by installing the upper ball joint. AC Delco. You don't have to go through the rivets anymore because this has bolts, which makes it a whole lot easier to install. They're 13 mil. And these are lock nuts so they won't come loose, which is great. It's the last thing you the bolt with the wrench and tighten the nut with the socket.
If you buy our ball joints, they come with grade 10.9 bolts. You have to torque them down to 24 foot-pounds. If you buy other ones, then you may break the bolts because they're not as good as these. a self-tapping, grease-fitting, install it, and tighten it with a 10 millimeter wrench. Face it forward so it's easy to grease. Install your new lower ball joint, and if necessary, use a rubber mallet to Get it in. Do not use a regular hand roller because install your lock nuts. If you bought our AC Delco ball joints, the head of the bolt is a 16 millimeter, and the bolt, the nut itself, is a 17. The lower ball joint has 10.9 10 millimeter bolts that need to be torqued down to 47 foot pounds. Install and tighten the grease fitting on the lower ball joint. Connect your sway bar end link and make sure the nut is tight. Install your brake line bracket and tighten the bolts back on. Install your spindle starting from the lower ball joint. Put the nut in. Oh, the turtle is coming. All right, so the turtle is coming. Is Wants to help us with the ball joints. Huh. There she is, or he is, whatever. There's the turtle. Well, are we doing a good job with these ball joints, or we're not? Tell us. Snug the ball joint nuts with the socket. Tighten your ball joint nuts. The top one is at 105 foot pounds. And the bottom one is at 115 foot pounds. Install your new car pins with the long end facing down. Bend it with the needle nose pliers. Install the upper car pin the same way. Install your tie rod end on the steering knuckle. Torque the nut to 60 foot pounds. Install your carter pin.
Make sure you grease your ball joints and your tie rod in. Put the brake rotor on and clean it with brake cleaner. Make sure your caliper bolts are tight. Put your tire on. Put the lug nuts on and when the vehicle's on the ground, put it to the torque specs for the lug nuts for this vehicle. Remember, you can buy these ball joints from us. The link is in the description of the video. We upload videos weekly, and if you want to keep up with the tutorial of this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris. See you in our next video.